My name is Brittany Burns. I work in the International Admission Office at Hardin-Simmons University, and I'm going to show you how to fill out your application for Hardin-Simmons University. So the first thing that you'll do is go to our home page um, on hsutx.edu, and then you'll select Apply Now. In order to fill out an application, you have to have an account, and I've already done a video on how to create an account. So if you've already created your account, then you'll go here to log in. And if you have not yet created an account, then you can select create an account and watch the video um, that I've already made. Um, so at this point, you will put in the email and password that you set when you created the account. then you'll log in. Okay, so you will be taken to this page and then to fill out your application you just select start new application. You'll create an application and you have to select an application type. So if you just graduated then you're going to select the undergraduate application and if you are wanting to, if you already have a college degree, then you'll select the graduate application. So I'm going to select undergraduate and create application and then open it and I begin filling it out. So I want to attend Hardin Simmons fall 2018. So you select just whenever you want to be enrolled and then I want to, I am a high school graduate and I want to attend Hardin-Simmons University and I'll be a first-time freshman and we'll say I'm gonna study business and then I will select continue okay so now I'm gonna fill out this information and Continue. I will select my mailing address. I'll select where I'm from, so that would be Canada. Type in my address. Piper Drive. And I'll select my province, which is Ontario, my postal code. Okay. I have and female, my birth date, and my citizenship is in Canada. Continue. Okay, so now I'm going to fill out some information about family. So family member number one, I'll do my mom. So that's good. And then I'll select my dad.
and I'll select again Canada. Perfect. So then I continue and do my academic history. So this is whatever high school you attended. And I will select my province first and select Ontario. And then I went to school uh, beginning in August of 2014 to May of 2017 uh, in high school. And then I'll select my and fill in my class rank. Okay, and you'll save that part. And then if you attended more than one high school or institution, then you can add another one here. This next part is test scores. Um, so you'll select add test and you can select the drop down and there's ACT, IELTS, SATR, and TOEFL. You are welcome to click one and fill out the information. Um, but if you have not taken it yet, or you do not know this information, don't worry. You do not have to complete this section in order to submit your application. But if you do have the information, it would be great for you to go ahead and put that in. Um, so then you can move on to activities and distinctions. This is a section where you will put any extracurricular things that you are involved in. So anything that you, any club you were in, community involvement, volunteer work, if you were a part of athletics and played a sport, anything like that you will put in this section right here. And then you can move on to we'd like to know and answer these questions. So coming as an international student, you will have to be full time. And then you, if you are an international student, you'll not be, up, be able to apply for a FAFSA. So you'll select no here and then just select the things that apply. On this section, it says, please check that all, check all that apply. So just read through these and if any of them apply to you, you can select them as well as in this section, you will select any of these extracurricular things that you might want to be involved in when you attend HSU. Then for this part, you'll fill out your religious affiliation and where you went to church. And then continue on to where it was. Okay, so I attended in Owen Sound, Ontario. Okay, and then on this last section, you will select what status you have for your visa. For many of you, for most people, if you're living outside the U.S. and don't hold a visa, you're going to select this third one. Whenever you are admitted, then you will go in and apply for an F-1 visa, but if you do not currently have an F-1 visa, then you'll select the third option. Okay, and then you'll answer these questions about your disciplinary history and continue. And then lastly, you will sign, which you will just type your name and confirm it. And then review. On this section, if there's any part that you 
didn't fill out and it's required, then it will show up in red right here and you can click on it and it'll take you back to the part that you need to fill out. So it will not allow you to submit your application if you have any of the required sections not filled out. Um, for me, I had everything filled out so that didn't come up, so I'm ready to submit my application and so I will go ahead and do that. Okay. and my application is submitted. So once it's submitted, uh, this page comes up and I can continue on submitting the documents that are required for the admissions process.